So uh, something bad happened yesterday. You guys seen it? We all seen it. Basically, the shot heard around the world, and um, it's pretty bad, right? Pretty bad. We can we come to an agreement that that was a bad thing? I know some people on social media currently is having a field day of this, especially on Facebook, where I was arguing with somebody because they said it was a conspiracy theory that it was all staged. And I don't understand that because when somebody on the right says January 6th was staged, they get called crazy or Nazis or white supremacists. But when somebody on the left says conspiracy theory, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's true. It's absolutely honest. It's not. It's bullshit on both sides. Um, so Donald Trump got shot, shot in the ear. Um, if he would have moved uh, another direction, stepped in another direction or turned his head at a different angle, he would be dead today. And I know a lot of people will be cheering about that, which is please get the fuck out of here. Um, this isn't funny. This is not funny at all. This is not somebody lost their life. Somebody got put in the hospital in critical condition, shot in the neck. And basically scared everyone the piss pretty much, which is bad. It's really bad. And like I said, like we see people on uh, social media having a field day with this, like Hassan Piker, Destiny, and several others basically saying this is funny, which is fucking not funny. It's terrible. It's a really bad thing to do. And we'll go ahead and show you too. So here's Destiny. Yes, I followed the quartering. Excuse me. A person in a crowd cheering for and supporting a traitor to this country caught astray. I'm so sad, please. Now, Destiny, Destiny is one of those guys. He's an edge lord. He thinks he's better than everybody else. He's a socialist and all this stuff, communist, when he is one person that actually pretty much can attribute their success to capitalism. But that's the same thing that goes for Hassan Piker. Um, I don't understand why that would be funny. I know you want to be edgy. That's that's fine. Be edgy. Please just continue watching Rick and Morty and slamming booster shots. That's fine. The gloves are kind of off at this point. Like, I know people know I voted for Trump before, but I am actually going to vote for Trump now. And I know people are going to hate me. That's fine. That's fine. People are going to leave my channel. That's fine. That's fine. But here, as I say, I'm not going to judge you because who you voted for. And at the end of the day, I'm not out there call it, putting out hate speech and everything. And I know some people dox me for making a gay joke and that's i guess that's something justified um i i i gotta talk about this now this is this is stupid this is stupid if this were to happen on the other side it would be different like it would be way different way, way different they would be going after pretty much anybody but wears a red hat basically calling them terrorists and all this shit it's weird it's really weird how Acts like this can be justified from another group of people just because you disagree with them. Um, it, we're at this point where America is so divided, so divided to the point where it's almost not even worth living here. It's terrible. It's terrible. And the ones that say if Trump gets you know reelected, they're moving out of the country, and that's that's fine. That's fine. But I don't see a lot of people. You know, after Trump got shot at a rally, I don't see a lot of people going out in the streets and burning buildings, looting, and spraying uh, <laughs> graffiti on statues and uh, all this stuff. Because that happens. If this would have happened to Biden, that would be happening right now. Um, the Believe it or not, statistically, and this is true, even if you believe that January 6th was one of the worst things possible, it wasn't. It really wasn't. And I'm not saying that it was staged either because I'm not going to jump into conspiracy theories. It's not my place to do that. I don't believe that. Uh, honestly, I don't understand any of it. It doesn't mean anything to me. If you want to believe it's happened, if you don't want to believe it's happened, I'm not here to confirm that. I have my own uh, opinions on that. And I probably won't share them because I know I'm going to get ridiculed for it. So let's go ahead and watch what happened. Um, this happened live. This was yesterday. Uh, well, let's go ahead and watch this and show you what happened during the speech. And then the worst president in the history of our country took over. And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh.
So, yeah, that's that's pretty scary, right? That's pretty scary. Um, the big question is, how did this happen? How? There's a lot of uh, rumors going around. There's also videos of people that actually saw the shooter before it happened and also reached out to armed security and the police and say, hey, there's a motherfucker on the roof with a gun. And for some odd reason, they missed it, even due to the fact that if you take a look right here, here's a shooter on the roof here, had this, this right here, this is the shooter, here's Secret Service, and here's the actual rally right here. So he had 130 yards of range right at Donald Trump's head. That's a sniper, I guess. Is that the sniper? Yeah, it's a sniper. So those people here that saw him, there was actually clips from TMZ that kind of shown that. And there was also some other interview interviews with some people that said that, hey, there was some guy on the roof and it wasn't taken very seriously. So I don't understand how this Secret Service member did not see this. Now, I'm not going to try to dive into conspiracy theories because that would be irresponsible. But the question is, and it should be asked, is how did this happen? Uh, this is a vantage point that should have been covered by you know, any Secret Service, any police, any armed, armed uh, cops or anything. They, this should have been covered. That should have been covered right there. I mean, that had there's no reason why it shouldn't be. Uh, I don't know how he got onto the roof with a rifle in the first place, um, which is again, it's pretty damn scary to be honest with you. And let's go ahead and show you the video of this. So this is from TMZ. It's the footage right here. Go ahead and turn. So, Ruby's turning this way. Be careful, guys. So they did get him. That is a clear shot of the sniper. Um, wasn't very successful. Fired a barrage of bullets into a crowd and hit Trump, um, which is, again, pretty bad. Now, one of the things, too, that came out was the guy that actually made the shot. And this is actually going around on X2. I'll show you this. So this is the guy um, basically um, saying this was him. I don't know what how accurate this is, but see here. My name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. I hate Republicans. I hate Trump. And guess what? You got the wrong guy. So, I mean, that's either like deep trolling, but apparently that was the guy. I don't know. I don't know for sure. We don't have the DNA, but uh, for the most part, people say that's the right guy. And every bit of evidence does show that. I don't know if that's some kind of troll that was recorded prior to this happening could be again that's a conspiracy theory and i'm not going to jump into that um but it's pretty sad actually it's really sad that people are cheering on this it's, this is not how we should be um as, as a civilization we shouldn't be like this we shouldn't want people to die unless they've done something extremely wrong and i know some people will say hey he's a felon blah, 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 this, this, Project 25, booster shots, all this stuff. I know people are going to say that stuff is, you know, why? It's still not justified. Nobody needs to lose their life because they have a difference of political views. Not not even great. And like I said, you have people like Hassan Piker, one of the uh, fake socialist communists that basically became successful on the top of capitalism, which a lot of his people and his followers contributed money and he's out, out there you know spreading some uh message that he's oppressed while living in a three million dollar mansion driving a lambo doesn't make sense right it's nothing like having some rich dude tell us how bad everything is when they basically became successful because of capitalism and the other ideas that is preached as wrong i know that's a that's a stretch right um so We'll go back into here. We see Elon Musk actually had a thing for here. Um, he actually endorsed him after this, and there was a lot of people that came out and did endorse him. Uh, so let's go ahead and play this video here. Now, I has a lot of people, especially on Facebook, saying it's a stage. I don't really know how it will stage, but I don't think I would know anybody that wants to voluntarily get shot in the ear and have somebody get killed or be, you know, 
fatally shot almost to the point of death that's what we're seeing now that uh, person got shot in the neck i believe got grazed i thought they said uh, there was some critical condition last time we looked but you, you see that he gets shot and he does get up and he still wants to continue doing the rally like even though he's injured which that's pretty wild to be honest with you a lot of uh, parallels between this and ronald reagan um, it's pretty accurate, pretty accurate. I wouldn't be surprised at the next Trump rally if he hears a pop, he'll say you missed, which would be uh, pretty much something Trump would do, uh, believe it or not. Um, I just don't understand. Um, I don't understand how people think this is uh, justified. It's just fucking terrible. So the mainstream media, they started doing their thing. Uh, so you have CNN, Secret Service, rushes Trump off stage after he falls at the rally. Now, you've seen a whole lot of this stuff. You've seen a whole lot, like different uh, news organizations, primarily what you would call the left think tank, basically came out and tried to underplay what was happening here, which, you know, it was, it was seen on camera. It was live. People saw it. People heard the popping noises of what they're saying. He didn't just fall down or get tackled by, you know, Secret Service. That literally just happened, and people like CNN and all these other social media giants are basically, basically trying to downplay this. Um, the media is pretty bad. Um, in cases like this, it's a good indication that the media is just really bad and biased. Um, it shouldn't have mattered. They should have reported the truth. It was already confirmed that the shots were fired. That doesn't make sense to me. I know I'm gonna have a lot of people that's gonna disagree with me on that, but I do think that kind of messaging is pretty dangerous itself. Now, it was somebody else, I believe it was another anchor, uh, that mentioned something on the lines of um, Trump should lower the ret rhetoric around this so this wouldn't happen again, which, if I remember correctly, Biden said something uh, about a week ago. This, is, this could be a call to violence. I mean, if people want to say that Trump had a call for violence during January 16th, this is no different than that. Joe Biden, I have one job, and that job's to beat Donald Trump. I'm absolutely certain I'm the best person to be able to do that. So we're done talking about the de debate. It's time to put Trump in a bullseye. Do you have a bunch of stands right here? We'll say I don't even know who the fuck that is. So is there any reason Biden could just drone strike Trump at this point? And here's the thing. Whenever they came out with that, um, that bill that basically gave Trump immunity, uh, presidential immunity on official acts, um, you had a lot of this stuff where people was calling for uh, Donald Trump to get hit by drones, get shot. You've seen videos on TikTok of shorts of people was saying, hey, this is your chance to kill King Trump. Then you have this little fucking asshole, Harry Sisson. According to the Supreme Court, Biden could now send SEAL Team 6 to take all of them out. He could send in the military to take Trump out. He has immunity for official acts now. Then you got this guy. I don't know who he is. I guess he's a representative state, Stephen Woodrow. The last thing America needed was a sympathy for the devil, but here we are. Now, that account was actually deleted afterwards. Uh, he deleted his account. Uh, that did happen. That did happen. Um, there's a lot of images that came out where the photographer was literally at the right place at the right time. Uh, you take a look at this right here. You see the blood coming over the president. That's going to be something that's going to be in a history book. Uh, and that's that's pretty crazy that it's come to this. It really has. And here's another one for sure that will be on T-shirts. And this will be a campaign thing. This is perfectly shot. This is perfectly shot like it is. It's like insane. You're going to see this on like National Geographic or Time News, Playboy, Game Informer, Country Living, um, Hustlers, I don't know. It's probably going to be on everything, but that is a pretty badass image, uh, believe it or not. You know, you have a dude that got shot, literally goes through the ground, stands back up, and does that. Now, that's why some people are saying it was staged, which again doesn't make sense. Like I said, I got in an argument with some people on Facebook because I posted a picture of this and said, Oh, this is bad, and immediately got bombarded by a lot of people that never talked to me ever saying this was fake, I'm a, I'm a Trump stan, I'm a horrible person. Um, and that's basically what media and social media has done at this point. 
Um, social media has basically turned the world against each other. We're now eating each other's throats over the smallest of things. Uh, even if you have a difference of opinion in the political uh, environment, it's, 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 there's no just a face of justification for this. I know you're going to be like, this is a fat white man that's a Christian uh, Zionist pig. Uh, he's probably a Nazi. That's fine. You can call me that, but I'm not out there openly hating Jews on social media or attacking Jews or saying, hey, free Palestine and not actually do anything about it except for destroy stuff. Um, please, please, please shut up. Shut up. This is stupid. This is stupid. If 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 this right here, uh, in twenty what was it, 2016, 2016, when I said, hey, I was going to vote for Bernie Sanders, then the DNC fucked Bernie Sanders, so I voted for Trump out of spite. Now, you know, you say what you want. That's probably bad. You'd probably be like, that's a bad thing to do. I understand your opinion. I respect your opinion. You're allowed to think that. I'm not going to hate on you. I'm not going to call you a piece of shit because that's not how I am. I'm just not going to do it. I respect your opinion. That's the way it is. I don't care. And if you want to argue about it, I'll actually play with you for a little bit. I will troll you, but that's about it. I'm not going to sit here and wish people to come after you, tell people to call your work, uh, get on, have a bunch of your followers send death threats and pizzas and dildos to my house. That's very irresponsible, and I'm not going to do that because I like to think that I'm a little bit above that, even though I voted for somebody you guys might not agree with, uh, even though I don't believe in a lot of stuff there is on both sides. I do have liberal and conservative values. I consider myself more of a libertarian because I kind of see through this shit. I used to be a really big, really big leftoid. Um, I hate to say leftoid because when I say leftoid, I'm not saying Democrats. I'm saying the hyper left where basically anything you say different than them you're automatically a white supremacist i know it's pretty pretty terrible bad take on me this is bad this is really bad this is really terrible it shouldn't have happened shouldn't have happened um there's a lot of questions going on right now on how it happened uh they're now questioning the they're they're i mean questioning the police and rounds of secret service and everything it's like a it's pretty wild at this point. There's probably going to be more details. And one of the details was the guy that shot him was a Republican and also donated to Biden. I think it was in 2021. Um, I don't really know if that really helps that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that really helps the case still. At the end of the day, it's not really justified. But if there was a manifesto that came out so why he did it. Uh, the same way there was the manifesto of the trans kid that went to the school and killed all these kids and stuff and teachers and whatnot. Um, yeah. This shit should be released. It should be. All of it. Everything. Everything. Anything about this guy that did it. Any per people that were in on it, they need to be basically investigated. FBI, CIA, Secret Service. Everybody needs investigation because this is something that should not have happened. It's really weird that there was an open shot, like was 130 meters away. That's, that's pretty crazy, but they didn't catch that. Um, you would think so. You would think so. I don't know, guys. I, I hope you're not hating me right now for talking about this because that's fine. I understand. Um, just keep in mind, I'm not here to hate on you. I'm not going to. We can disagree with each other. Uh, but I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that you're a scummy piece of shit. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to have people go after you just because I voted differently. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. I, I will take the high ground before anything like that happens. It's just not going to happen. Uh, so, you know, just be civil. That's all I'm saying.